Gavin, what will Simon Coveney be hoping to achieve from this visit? There are effectively two angles to it, Richard. The first is something of an olive branch, a sign of friendship, because it is now seen as somewhat more plausible for foreign ministers to be able to visit Kiev since the uh, the effect of the, the Russian assault in that city has been somewhat withdrawn in more recent days. So it is now possible for visits like this to be made. And in fact, at a press conference, which is just getting underway in Kiev a few minutes ago, it has been observed by the Ukrainian foreign minister, Dmitry Kudeva, that Simon Kovny is actually the first foreign minister to visit Kiev uh, in the 50 days since that war has broken out. But Simon Kovny he is also there wearing something of a UN Security Council hat. He is the first uh, foreign minister of a UN Security Council country to visit uh, Ukraine since the war broke out. And he is also there to examine effectively what support militarily and non-militarily can be offered by the UN Security Council and indeed by other members of the European Union as well. We have been speaking here at Dublin Castle on the fringes of the Globe and Ireland Summit to the Minister for European Affairs, Thomas Byrne, who has been giving us a little insight into what is intended. We've good relations with the government and I think Minister Coveney is there not just as a representative of Ireland but also Ireland as a member of the Security Council. And I think there's a lot of work going on uh, to try to see how we help Ukraine fundamentally because that's I think what Minister Coveney wants to do and I'm sure he'll see some of the devastation that's there as well. Uh, it simply won't be a, a meeting that takes place but I think we well, let's see how this plays out because I think on these issues security is obviously very paramount uh, and we, we will let the story play out as it happens today and you'll hear it directly I'm sure from Minister Coveney. Now, you heard Thomas Byrne say, thing, saying a moment ago that he intended for Simon Coveney, or that rather he hoped that Simon Coveney would be able to see some of the devastation around Kiev and surrounding areas for himself. Our understanding is that may not have been possible because in the time that Simon Coveney has been there, there have been two air raid sirens which have been sounded over Kiev, which means that he hasn't been able to engage in the same walkabout on the streets of the Ukrainian capital in ways that we have seen the likes of Boris Johnson and Ursula von der Leyen doing in recent days. Simon Coveney, due to spend the rest of the afternoon there wearing his hats as both Minister for Foreign Affairs and Minister for Defence, and perhaps then due to report back a bit later on what exactly he might be able to hope to have discussed with the Ukrainian government and what the next steps may be.